Hey, it's Chris, and today we're gonna be talking about gaming on your Apple Watch. The Apple Watch as a sort of mini wrist gaming console. So, did you even know that you could game on the Apple Watch? If you're like me, then you did, like you've seen some games or heard something about it, but you never really got into it, never really tried it, because maybe you just figured, how in the world could that be worth my time? Or how could it be good? But here's the thing, we're gonna go through some games today and we're gonna decide if gaming on the Apple Watch is actually any good, if it's something you should try. I think this is gonna be pretty entertaining. All right, I got a ton of apps installed on here, ready for this video. I'm gonna scroll all the way up to the top and just pick the top one and then check it out and go from there. So the first one up here is Bubblegum Hero. Okay, so apparently you blow bubbles and it rates you on your bubbles. There's two circles. You gotta stay outside of the inner circle and inside of the outer circle. It's actually really easy. <laughs> I say as I get eight. All right, the next one up is called Dare. Oh, Dare the Monkey. All right, tap to jump. All right, all right, get some coins, jump over the thing. Okay, retry, that didn't take long. Got three coins though. Let's go, monkey. We have to break our record of four coins. Leap, well, this is kind of fun already. I'm guessing there's only one level. Oh no, oh yeah, oh there's an airplane. Oh, okay, whoa, he's floating. If I knew there was more levels to check out, then I could maybe invest more time in this. Ah, 49, new record. Next up, field day. Uh, if you're into like farming games and simulation games, maybe this is for you. Uh, you got like a farmhouse, you got your inventory here, and I accidentally spent something or deleted. Oh yeah, I did it again. I deleted that. I have no idea what I just deleted or why, but I got a plot here. I want to plant some carrots. Looks like I got a delivery. Cool, got some carrots. I got a message, there's a mailman. What's up, mailman? Hi, farmer, I need your help. Please come visit me as soon as you can, the baker. Open field day on your iPhone to visit the town. Oh, that's lame, okay, come on. Some of these games you can't just play on the watch. Look at the graphics on here. I mean, they're pretty cool. This really could have been uh, something interesting if you didn't have to rely on your phone. So I'm honestly really disappointed with that. Kepler Attack. So I played this a little bit already. It's kind of a little space shooter. And actually, <laughs> you don't even have to move your dude for a while. He'll just shoot and destroy all the aliens if you just leave him. But I'll fly him around just so you can see what's up. You're flying through space and it's got a little bit of some graphics. And by the way, I'm feeling the haptic. So I've got some feedback here. So what is that, like a wormhole or something? Oh, I got a boost. I can go a little bit faster. Hey, this is actually pretty, oh, what? That's actually pretty fun. I tried this one too, and it's basically your old school basic block breaker. You kids these days are gonna think this is super boring, but hey, if you have nothing to do, you might as well break some blocks, right? This is not that bad. I mean, it's not like Halo or something, but if you're bored enough, this reminds me of The Office when they're all sitting around watching the DVD logo on the TV behind Michael. It's added a row of bricks, so at least you have multiple levels here. I could play this for a little bit. All right, Letters app. Let's see what Letters app's all about, if it even loads. With all the pressure of everybody watching, what can I spell? <laughs> Ocean. No, that doesn't work. I'm just gonna tap stuff. Ocetin. Time's up. Notice, oh, it's always so obvious after you're done. Okay, so mini watch games this is like 20 games in one. As you can see, look at all these. By the way, this did cost uh, a few dollars. Oh yeah, here we go, it's like Flappy Bird. We're flapping on the watch. Oh, okay, didn't even make it past first. All right, I'll do this. Oh, let's not fail, come on. Wow, this is really hard and frustrating. Come on, dude. Oh, okay, this might be an hour long video if I can't flap through there. <laughs> Uh, Daily Tech is not this bad at gaming. Oh, why? Come on. Ah, I've had enough. Maybe that is the game. You can't even get past the first thing. All right, let's try Block Run. I'm not gonna go through all of these. Come on, little guy, jump. Whoa, here we go, here we go. Boom, all right, okay. Here we go, a little higher. Oh, let's search through here and let's find something really good. Let's see what we got, car car. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, it's just a matter of tapping where you wanna go. Okay, I got this. Am I red or, oh, I'm both. Okay, oh, 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 you wanna get circles. Ah, okay, you wanna get circles, you wanna avoid the other ones. Okay, so you're playing two cars. Oh, this is kind of fun actually. No, oh, drive, let's try that. I wanna do a little driving on here. I already like it. It's giving me, whoa, like a vertigo feeling or something. This is weird. All the other games I was failing immediately because there was at least a bit of a challenge. 
Oh, and I failed anyways. Oh, hey, look at this. You guys are out there liking the new video. If you haven't seen this already, go check it out. Okay, I have to try troopers really quick. How do you shoot? Oh, like this. Uh, can I shoot a ton? Oh, yeah. Hey, this isn't bad. No, this isn't bad at all, especially to use two hands. I could play this a little bit. I mean, it's not it's not the best game I've ever played in my life. None of these are so far, but you could waste some time with these. Sometimes you need to. Nuggets. Go, 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 go. Man, some of these are a little bit glitchy. Maybe this is the game, just to make you look like an idiot. Okay, rules. I've heard of this before. I think this is gonna be good. I, I barely kind of got in here and tried this out, but let's do this. So start workout. I think it's like a brain brain trainer or something. So you gotta tap descending. This is easy. Boom, 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 boom. Descending order. Wait, follow the one rule. What's the one rule? Tap descending. Wow. Okay, I totally botched that. Yeah, I could go for a puzzle game kind of like that. Let's see what Seeker's Notes is. Launch the game to see the details. What? You can't even play it on the watch without the phone. Next. Okay, snappy word. Spell a word. Cape, I already see it. Now I'm better at this one than I was at the last one. Rock, glue. Okay, this is evil. This is too easy. Oh, wait, what do we got here? Oh, I got it. Name. No, Nama. <laughs> That's nothing. What the heck? Man. Uh, there we go. Whoops. Okay, speaking of games, I'm playing Whiteout. It is a game that sends you like text notifications and oh man, this is lame. I thought it was gonna let me play on here, but this is gonna make me launch my phone to play. Tap to dash. This is the same thing. Here we go again, but oh, oh, but instead of flapping, you dash. Oh yeah, I already like this better than the other one. If you're gonna download one of the Tappy games, this is the one. Ah! What else do we have? Tiny armies. You you move the little dudes. You have dudes, the dots are dudes. Okay, so you gotta go around the obstacles. Watch this. I'm gonna get this, I got him, that's it. He fell into my trap. Victory, uh, I'm gonna charge. I see some portals, I see some mountains. Come on, oh, come on. <laughs> Defeat, this is, this is all right. I would check this one out if I was you. Let's see what else. Okay, trivia crack, you guys remember this. Oh, I'm gonna play a random opponent. All right, you guys are gonna see me crush somebody right now. All right, select category. Where's tech? Where's Apple? What state has cities? Austin, San Antonio, oh, come on, Texas. <laughs> I know it's not Colorado. Hey, multiplayer on your Apple Watch. That's nothing to sneeze at. I don't mind that at all. Is this like kindergarten mode or something? Okay, Whiteout already disappointed me, so let's check out Wordy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, guess the word. Uh, cat. C-A-T. Excellent. All right, last game, it's Zamboni. I paid for this. So if it's not amazing, then I'm gonna be really disappointed. First of all, it would help if it would load. Hello, Mr. Zamboni. We got some ice to clean. Okay, no Zamboni. Oh man, this kind of reminds me. I was trying out a bunch of games while I was actually on a road trip recently and on my Apple Watch. And one of those times I was trying the new Impossible Whopper at Burger King. I never go to Burger King, but I'm a vegetarian and I had to check out the Impossible Whopper. It was like a must. So I did and I got my order wrong, Ugh. but I'm sitting there waiting and I'm gaming. And I noticed this table of people over there is looking at me weird. And yeah, I mean, people aren't used to you like spending so much time with your watch. It's usually something you just glance at, put it away. Or you maybe respond, say something and put it away. But here I was playing it for like a few minutes straight. And yeah, they were staring a little bit. So let's wrap this thing up. When we're talking about gaming on the Apple Watch and if it's any good, we're talking about small screen size. We're talking about limited sound. We're talking about limited controls. And a lot of these games either have, they can have something annoying about them, like in-app purchases or being controlled by your iPhone. You gotta pop over there to sign in or download something or set something up and it's not really independent or maybe it's just rushed and it wasn't really thought out. I mean, gaming on the Apple Watch is not perfect, but I don't think we really expected it to be heading into this, did we? So the long and the short of this video is there's definitely some duds when it comes to Apple Watch gaming, but Equally, there's some fun games. Like, I'm surprised <laughs> that I found some games that were kind of enjoyable, and I think it is actually worth it for you to check this out. Maybe this video will help you avoid some of the duds and just pick a few things out that you wanna try, since some of them do cost a little bit. Uh, I can't imagine the market for Apple Watch gaming is huge, so maybe support the developers that went through the time and effort to actually put something on your wrist that you could play when you're bored. But yeah, I do think there's some stuff that's worth downloading. And I'll, I'll link up all this stuff down below with like download or try or don't, okay? I'll put that down below. But that's it for this video. Let me know what you thought. 
Uh, let me know what games you're going to grab. Let me know if there's some games that I missed. Because I know there's some stuff swimming around out there that I just didn't know where to find it. So if there's something good out there, if you're a developer, then let me know down below. Don't put a link in the description because we tend to take those off. Just delete those because we want to keep you here on YouTube. But other than that, make sure to follow at Daily Tech, spelled daily T-E-K-K -K, on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later. Yeah,